Episode 5, I'll share with you how the camp went part 1. Warning, swearing like a sailor and explicit words. Sakishima had excused himself from Hinata's home and went to his own. After what happened at Hinata's place, both of them felt like a burden was lifted off their shoulders. So this is how it feels to let someone else know. On Tuesday, Sugawa received news that school will be suspended for a month at most. Thus, their trip was planned out immediately and on Friday, they met up. Hinata got to school a little late than the others because of a mild panic attack he had while preparing. Sakishima could tell something was wrong and eyed the boy worriedly. Hinata smiled at him to let him know that he was fine. Shoyo! Come sit with me! Sorry, Nishinori-senpai. I want to sit further in the back. Eh? No way was Hinata sitting next to Nishinoya. His seat was across Yamaguchi and Kagiyama who seemed to care less and immediately sat beside each other. If you say so, Shoyo. Hinata let out a relieved sigh and proceeded to the back of the bus. He saw a lot of empty seats but went ahead to sit beside Tsukishima. Sugawara saw this and messaged Nishinoya senpai. Hey. What happened to my baby crow? Not sure, Suga senpai. He was so scared of sitting next to me that he even let out a sigh. Really? Look back, he's sitting beside Tsukishima. Nishinoya read the message with wide eyes and suddenly peeked towards the back and saw Shoyo comfortably resting beside Tsukishima. He quickly looked at Sugawara who had a confused look, both of them wide eyed Can you look after my baby for me? I'll keep an eye on Tsukishima. Aye aye, Captain. Also, don't tell anybody else. I don't think they noticed. Nishinoya nodded in place and sent his reply. The bus started and everybody on went to sleep until they reached their destination. So guys, I told you that the camp lasts for five days, right? You guys better not get into trouble for us. A chorus of yes was heard. Okay! Now that everybody's up and awake, put your bags in the big room where we'll be all sleeping together. Practice starts in the afternoon, so rest up before then. Bro, can we go candy hunting? Bro, I want to see the food they have here. You're still in Japan, so the food isn't different. Eh, Tsukimi. So the shimo arises. Don't call me that. Sips. Hey, we heard that. You were supposed to. Suga! Suki is picking on us. I said, don't call me that. Hinata went ahead inside and put down his bag. So you and Suki, huh? Hinata froze at the voice of his ex best friend. His hands clenched his bag hard and he felt a panic attack surfacing. Oi, I ask you a question. What are you talking about? Hinata didn't face him, afraid he'll have a panic attack then and there. You and Suki were together on the ride here. Oh, I just wanted to have a quiet bus night. It's funny, you lost your boyfriend and now you're chasing after another guy. Do you fucking like dicks that much? Or should I say getting fucked by dicks? Hinata feels a pang in his heart and his hand automatically clenches his chest. He never knew Yamaguchi was capable of such words. This proves how everything about them being friends were fake. Since you aren't answering, I'll take that as a yes. Bye, cockslut. Yamaguchi went inside to be with the others. Hinata's tears fell and he immediately went to the bathroom far from the building and locked himself inside a stall. He was having a mild panic attack because of the confrontation. He kept rocking back and forth to ease himself while crying silently. Tsukishima looked around to find Hinata gone, and Yamaguchi just getting out of the building. I'm ahead now, guys. Suki, put the bags down in the room. Ch Bye. Tsukishima went inside and looked for Shoyo. He saw droplets on Shoyo's bag and knew that he was crying. He immediately went to the bathroom but found no boy there. He remembered Tsugawara senpai saying there was another bathroom, so he went there. Shoyo? He heard sniffles from the farthest stall. Can I come in? He heard a click and got inside the stall. 
There he found a trembling Shoyo with unfocused eyes. He immediately lifted Shoyo and rested him on his lap. He tucked the boy's stray hairs behind his ears and rubbed his back. Shoyo calmed down by a little from Sakishima's arrival. I can't keep on doing this to Kay. They kept their voices low and quiet in case somebody came in. Kay, you, you didn't have to. I want to. Now, Sakishima changed Shoyo's position so that he would be facing him with each leg at each side of him. He brought him into a hug. It's fine, Shoyo. You're not fine. Thank you. Was it Yamaguchi? Shoyo visibly stiffened at the name, confirming Sakishima's words. Sakishima sighed at himself but was interpreted differently by Shoyo. Sorry. No, no. I sighed because I wasn't there for you when I promised to. Hinata sob softly calmed down as Sakishima rubs his back. He called me Kasat. You what? Sakishima's blood boiled at this. Shoya was the most innocent boy on the team, and Yamaguchi decided to call him a Kaksa. He said I was after you, and I just broke up with Kags. Hinata was starting so bad from crying. Sakishima wanted to hit something, but decided not to for Shoya's sake. He doesn't like confrontations. Calm down. You're not a coxlet. And if you think about it, he's more of a coxlet than you. Sakishima cups Shoya's cheeks and pinches them. Don't ever think you're coxlet when you haven't even done that. Sakishima sighs. You shouldn't give up yourself to a guy who just accepted your confession, Shoyo. I'm s sorry. Hinta burst into tears once more as he was reminded that he gave himself up to a guy who didn't like him. Sakishima returned to hugging the boy. Shh, it's fine. Yamaguchi isn't too, so you aren't the only one. Is this supposed to make me feel better? Yep. Okay, you weird. That I am. Thank you. No problem, Shrimpy. Silence fell on both of them as they indulged in the comforting atmosphere. At some point, Hinta stopped crying and stabilized his breathing. He saw Kay's shoulder it was wet with tears. Kay, your shirt. It's fine. I have a jacket. You better? Yeah, I'm okay. Want me to get you water? Yeah, with orange juice, please. Sakishima got up, wore his jacket, and went to buy water and juice from a vending machine nearby. Oh, hey, Sakishima. What? I was wondering if you know where Shoyo is. I can't seem to find him anywhere. No clue. Sakishima turned and walked towards the bathroom. Nishinoya knew that Sakishima knew where Shoyo was. After all, both of them went missing after heading inside, so he stealthily followed Sakishima. Hinata was already out of the stall, rinsing his face when Sakishima came. Sakishima went inside the bathroom and gave Hinata the water and juice. Hinata put the juice on his eyes as an eye cooler and drank the water. Hinata. Nishinoya was leaning in to hear the conversation. You are not a coxlet just because of what happened. Remember that. Nishinoya was shocked at what he heard. Shoyo isn't a virgin anymore? Of what happened? Did he stop with multiple guys? Wait, is he gay? Nishinoya fled from the scene and couldn't process what he had heard. It's not true. Shoyo wouldn't do that. He doesn't even know what an orgasm is. Unless... Nishinoya opens his phone and messages Tanaka. Bro, it's urgent. Nishinoya smacked his face. He couldn't believe he was just about to spread what he had just heard. Bro, what? Oh, it's nothing. I thought Kyoko was with us but forgot she wasn't. He decided that what he heard will remain unknown to the others until he knows the truth. Hinata and Tsukishima went to practice as usual. They did both of their plan sets for their positions. Hinata and Tsukishima both put all of their attention to their training to block out Kageyama and Yamaguchi's constant flirting. Hinata went to Sugawara when he finished his training. Sugawara was close to asking Hinata what was wrong when Tsukishima came and volunteered to practice receipts to which the Tangerine gladly accepted. Sugawara's suspicion kept on going, but since he wasn't finished with his training, he decides to take care of it later. 
Sharpay, look at the ball but receive with your arms. You always receive the ball with your eyes. I'm surprised your brain hasn't turned to goo from all those spikes you received with your head. Ugh. You fine? Hinata was sprawled out on the ground, muscles starting to soar. Sakishima gets close to check up on him. You're breaking character, Salty. Can you blame me? Well, I am to blame. Hinata reaches out his hand to the blonde. Help me up? Nah. I'm breaking character if I do. Sukishima walks away from Hinata and stops when he got back to his place when they were practicing receive. Hinata laughs at this. And I thought you cared. Har har, shrimp. Now get up, let's train till you can actually receive properly. Actually, I want to change clothes. Same. Hinata gets up and brushes off the dirt. Race you to the room? I got long legs, you're asking for the feet. Ugh. Suki, you're no fun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, shrimp. Let's go. Suki, I like you. No shit, Sherlock. Who's Sherlock? No one. Show ya! Hinata and Sukishima looks back to see Nishinoya running to them. Show ya! Wait up! Nishinoya senpai! You guys! Why did it take you so early to finish? For reasons. <laughs> what the reason, Shoyo? Nothing much, just stupid stuff. I see. Race you to the room? Sure. Bye, Sukishima. Yeah, bye. Nihinata and Ishinoya ran towards the room as most of the team trudges behind Sukishima. Each one of them started pouring into the bath and changing. They were finished with changing and were now doing their own stuff in that shared space. Hinata was playing cards with Tanaka and Inoshita when Nishinoya blurted out the words he swore he wouldn't say in front of the team. What did Tsukishima mean by Shoya not being a cock slut? Nishinoya realized what he said and immediately covered his mouth with his hand. He frantically looked at Hinata and Tsukishima who froze at the statement. So that was all for episode 5, to heal with you and I am sorry if I upload late because I have a cold and my voice is not as good as it was last week. So thank you for the subscribers, we're nearing 1000, thanks, bye bye.